Hey boys and girls, here's a book by Lee Howard. It's Scooby-Doo. Giddy up, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo and the kids from Mystery Inc., that's short for Incorporated, were spending a week at Tumbleweed Ranch. Like this, like this place is cool, says Shaggy. Rrr, agreed Scooby. The ranch owner, Slim Jim, came over to greet the gang. Welcome to Tumbleweed Ranch, he said. I hope you enjoy your stay here, but you've got come at a bad time, said Slim Jim. Someone has been stealing my horses. We'll help you find them, says Fred. We're good at solving mysteries. We need to get close to the horses, said Velma. Why don't you take our rodeo clown class, suggested Slim Jim. This is Jingles, said Slim Jim. He'll show you the ropes. Scooby and Shaggy were great at playing the fool. You two will make perfect rodeo clowns, says Jingles. Did you hear that, Scooby? said Shaggy. Like, like we're going to be clowns. Oh, Roy, said Scooby. First Jingles taught Scooby and Shaggy how to rope a steer. Shaggy roped Scooby, then Scooby roped Shaggy. The rest of the gang watched and clapped. Jinkies, said Velma. What are those two up to now? Acting like clowns, said Daphne, laughing. After class, Slim Jim introduced the gang to a tall cowboy. This is my neighbor, Ray Bob Gilly, he said. Howdy, said Ray Bob. Ray Bob used to own this ranch and all the horses, said Slim Jim. Ray Bob nodded. Hmm. I like to come back and visit sometimes. That night, the gang made a campfire. Then they heard strange noises. Did you hear that? asked Velma. It sounds like horses whining, said Fred. The gang ran to the stables. Slim Jim met them there. Two horses are missing, he said. Maybe the thief left a clue, said Velma. Velma and Daphne found streaks of white goo on the ground. What's this? asked Daphne. White makeup, said Fred. And yarn, hmm, said Velma. Someone has been clowning around in here. The next day, Jingles taught Scooby and Shaggy how to juggle. At least, he tried to teach them. After class, Fred and Daphne followed Jingles back to the stables. Jingles patted one of the horses. See you later, Midnight, he whispered. Fred and Daphne hurried back to the gang. Scooby, Shaggy, and Velma were sitting around the campfire, toasting marshmallows. Gang, it's time to set a trap, said Fred. We need to catch the horse thief in the act. Hooray, said Scooby. Like what kind of trap, asked Shaggy. We'll camp out at the stables tonight, said Daphne. The gang went into their tents to wait for the thief. Soon, Scooby and Shaggy fell sound asleep, until a big, scary shadow appeared outside their tent. <laughs> cried Shaggy. He and Scooby slid deep into their sleeping bags. Get your last so, Scoob, whispered Shaggy. It's time to catch that crook. Outside, Scooby and Shaggy saw a dark figure leading a horse away from the stables. Scooby threw his lasso at the shadow. He roped something. Rehaw! Scooby cheered.
Fred, Daphne, and Velma heard the noise and came running. So did Jingles and Slim Jim. We caught the horse thief, Shaggy said. I guess I taught you something, right? said Jingles, grinning. Grinning, that is. Let's see who's hiding under this clown wig, said Fred. Daphne pulled off the thief's wig. Ray Bob Gilly, the gang gasped. <gasps> it was him all the time. The gang took Ray Bob to the sheriff's jailhouse. I wanted to steal back my old horses, said Ray Bob. You dressed up like a clown so Slim Jim would think I was a thief, said Jingles. I wouldn't have gotten away. I, I, I would have gotten away with it if it hadn't been for you meddling kids, said Ray Bob. You'll have plenty of time to clown around in jail, says Velma. The next day, the gang enjoyed their last barbecue. Anyone want to round up for a few prairie dogs? asked Jingles. Like, we're more interested in hot dogs, says Shaggy. Roop, agreed Scooby. Scooby-Doo! 